Hello my dear friends, today we are again here to learn some more MCQs from past year questions and here let me tell you that we are taking up day 6 MCQs and uh, apart from that if you want PDF notes of this MCQ and if you wish to join WhatsApp study group then you are welcome friends just let's move drop me a message today's in mcq the number let's which begin is given with question number one i will surely sure. reply back to you all elizabeth do let me know your willingness Darcy let's begin Fitz with the question William answers are the characters of in MCQ. austin's novel option a emma option b northanger option c pride and prejudice and option d sense and sensibility this is i guess very easy question for UGC nest net aspirants because this has come several times in previous year questions as well so here the answer is pride and prejudice undoubtedly which is written by Jane Austen in 1813 the novel follows the character development of Elizabeth Bennet the dynamic protagonist of the book who learns about the repercussions of hasty judgments and comes to appreciate the difference between superficial goodness and actual goodness. The novel is set in rural England in early 19th century. Elizabeth Bennet is the protagonist in 1813 novel Prize in Prejudice which is written by Jane Austen. This point we have already discussed. Here, the male protagonist, that is Darcy, is a wealthy owner in the novel. Question number two. The Unfortunate Traveller, The Life of Jack Wilton, which was published in the year 1594, is a option A, picaresque novel, option B, comedy, option C, satire, option D, poem. Here, option A, that is picaresque novel, is the correct answer. The Unfortunate Traveller, The Life of Jack Wilton, which was published in 1594, is a picaresque novel set during the reign of Henry VIII of England. John, sorry, Jack Wilton is a page serving in the army of King Henry VIII of England when his adventures begin. At the end of the play, Jack and his newly wed diamond flee out of the Sodom of Italy back towards the England English encampment in France where the story first began. Question number three. Consume my heart away, sick with desire and fashioned to a dying animal. The above lines are taken from option A. Felix Randall Option B, Sailing to Bandentium. Option C, Cooley and the Bali, Bali Lee, sorry, in 1931. And Option D, The Second Coming. Here your answer is Sailing to Byzantium. Let's see the highlighters of this question. Sailing to Byzantium is a poem by William Butler Yeats. Or W. B. Yeats, first published in 1929, collection The Tower. It comprises four stanzas in Ottawa Rima, each made up of, of eight lines of iambic pentameter. It uses a journey to Byzantium as a metaphor for a spiritual journey. It describes the metaphorical journey of a man pursuing his own vision of eternal life as well as his conception of paradise this was written in 1926 question number is question number four Hieronimo is a character in option a the unfortunate traveler option b the spanish tragedy option c dido the queen of carthage option d robert garnier's Cornelia. 
Here the answer is option B, the Spanish tragedy. Let's see the highlighters. The Spanish tragedy or sorry, Hieronimo is mad again. It is published in 1592, a revenge tragedy often referred to the work of Shakespeare, Ben Jonson and Marlowe. It was staged at the Rose for Philip Henslow in 1592. Ben Jonson mentioned Hieronimo in introduction in his Cynthia's Rebels, which was published in the year 1600 and quotes from the play in every man in his humor that was published in the year 1598 thomas decker suggested the ben, that ben jensen in his early days acted himself as hieronimo t s eliot quoted the title and the play in his poem the wasteland let's move to the question number five coral ridge the rhyme of the ancient mariner is a poem in Option A, 8 parts, option B, 9 parts, option C, 7 parts, and option D, 6 parts. Here the answer is 7 parts. Let's see the highlighters. It is the longest major poem by the English poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. This was written between 1797 to 1798. It was published in 19, sorry, 1798 in the first edition of Lyrical Ballads. Relates the experiences of a sailor who has returned from a long sea voyage. Question number six. Which of the following statement is not correct about Bacon's essays? Option A. His essay was published in three editions in 1595. Question number six. Which of the following statement is not correct about Bacon's essays? Option A. His essay was published in three editions in 1595, 1612 and 1625. The first edition contains 10 essays and the second contains 38 essays, that is in option B. Option C, his edition of essays decreased in each edition. Option D, the full title of his essay is Essays, Religious, Meditation, Places of Persuasion and Dissuasion, Seen and Allowed. Here your answer is option C. Option C, the edition of essays decreased in each edition. So let's see the highlighters. Essays which were published in different editions were in 1595, 1612 and 1625. These are the years where this edition was published. Edition 1 was published in 1595. 10 essays were published including Christian Meditation and Of the Colors of Good and Evil. Edition 2 was published in 1612. It consisted 38 essays including Of Death, Of Religion, Of Life, Of Nobility, Of Dis Dispatch, of friendship, of ambition, of young men and age, of beauty, of nature in men, of custom and education, of fortune, of vain glory, of praise, etc. In edition third, that was published in 1625, it consists of 58 essays, including of truth, of revenge, of adversity, of Simulation and dissimulation of envy, of boldness, of travel, of delays, of innovation, of suspicion, of plantation, of prophecies, etc.
let's see the highlighters england made me or the shipwreck is an early novel by graham green it was first published in 1935 republished as the shipwrecked in 1953 it is set in stockholm question number eight which of the following play was the cause of Wycherley's release from imprisonment for debt? Option A, a gentleman dancing master. Option B, the plain dealer. Option C, the country wife. Option D, the country girl. Here, option B, the plain dealer is the right answer. Let's see the highlighters. The Plain Dealer that was published in 1676 was written by Wycherley. It is restoration comedy based on Moliria, Le Misanthrope. The title character is Captain Manley, a sailor who doubts the motive of everyone he meets except for his sweetheart Olivia. When Olivia jilts him and marries Vernice, he attempts to gain revenge from sending a page boy who is known to him a girl is a girl in disguise and is in love with him to seduce olivia when truth of page's identity is discovered manly marries her in 1681 when the duchess died he was imprisoned for debt debt but after the Assassin of John James II in 1685, when he watched the performance, when he watched the performance of the Plain Dealer, he arranged Vitaly's release. Question number nine: The Divine Comedy is divided into three cantigas, each consisting of option A, thirty cantos; option B, thirty-three cantos. Option C, 24 cantos. Option D, 28 cantos. Your answer is option B, 33 cantos. Highlighter says, The Divine Comedy, Italian La Divina Commedia, original name La Commedia, long narrative form written in Italian Sirsa, between 1308 to 1329 by Dante, divided into three canticles, Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso. Each canticle consists of 33 cantos, except the first which has 34, thus entire poem is made up of 100 cantos. Next question number is question number 4. Hieronimo is a character in option A, the unfortunate traveler, option B, the Spanish tragedy, option C, Dido, the queen of Carthage, option D, Robert Garnier's Cornelia. Here the answer is option B, the Spanish tragedy. Let's see the highlighters. The Spanish tragedy or Hino, sorry, Hieronimo is Mad Again. It is published in 1592, a revenge tragedy often referred to the work of Shakespeare, Ben Jonson and Marlowe. It was staged at The Rose for Philip Henslow in 1592. Ben Jonson mentioned Hieronimo in introduction in his Cynthia's Revels which was published in the year 1600 and quotes from the play In Every Man in His Humor that was published in the year 1598. Thomas Decker suggested the, that Ben Jensen in his early days acted himself as Hieronimo. T.S. Eliot quoted the title and the play in his poem The Wasteland. Let's move to the question number five. Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is a poem in option A, 8 parts, option B, 9 parts, option C, 7 parts, and option D, 6 parts. Here the answer is 7 parts. 
Let's see the highlighters. It is the longest major poem by the English poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. This was written between 1797 to 1798. It was published in 19, sorry, 1798 in the first edition of Lyrical Ballads. Relates the experiences of a sailor who has returned from a long sea voyage. Question number six. Which of the following statement is not correct about Bacon's essays? Option A. His essay was published in three edition in 1595. Question number six. Which of the following statement is not correct about Bacon's essays? Option A. His essay was published in three editions in 1595, 1612 and 1625. The first edition contains 10 essays and the second contains 38 essays that is in option B. Option C. His edition of essays decreased in each edition. Option D. The full title of his essay is Essays, Religious Meditation, Places of Persuasion and Dissuasion, Seen and Allowed. Here your answer is Option C. Option C. The edition of essays decreased in each edition. So let's see the highlighters. Essays which were published in different editions were in 1595, 1612 and 1625. These are the years where this edition were published. Edition 1 was published in 1595. 10 essays were published including Christian Meditation and Of the Colors of Good and Evil. Edition 2 was published in 1612. It consisted 38 essays including of death, of religion, of life, of nobility, of dispatch, of friendship, of ambition, of young men and age, of beauty, of nature in men, of custom and education, of fortune, of vain glory, of praise, etc. In edition 3rd, that was published in 1625. It consists of 58 essays, including of truth, of revenge, of adversity, of simulation and dissimulation, of envy, of boldness, of travel, of delays, of innovation, of suspicion, of plantation, of prophecies, etc. Let's see the highlighters. England Made Me or The Shipwreck is an early novel by Graham Greene. It was first published in 1935, republished as The Shipwrecked in 1953. It is set in Stockholm. Question number eight. Which of the following play was the cause of Vichelet's release from imprisonment for debt? Option A, A Gentleman Dancing Master. Option B, The Plain Dealer. Option C, The Country Wife. Option D, The Country Girl. Here, Option B, The Plain Dealer is the right answer. Let's see the highlighters. The Plain Dealer that was published in 1676 was written by Vaitele. It is restoration comedy based on Moliria. Les Misanthropes, 
The title character is Captain Manly, a sailor who doubts the motive of everyone he meets except for his sweetheart Olivia. When Olivia jilts him and marries Vernice, he attempts to gain revenge from sending a page boy who is known to him a girl is a girl in disguise and is in love with him to seduce Olivia. When truth of Paige's identity is discovered, Manly marries her. In 1681, when the Duchess died, he was imprisoned for debt. debt. But after the accession of John James II in 1685, when he watched the performance, When he watched the performance of The Plain Dealer, he arranged Vitaly's release. Question number 9. The Divine Comedy is divided into three canticas, each consisting of Option A, 30 cantos, Option B, 33 cantos, Option C, 24 cantos, Option D, 28 cantos. Your answer is Option B, 33 cantos. Highlighter says, The Divine Comedy, Italian La Divina Commedia, original name La Commedia, long narrative form written in Italian Sirsa between 1308 to 1329 by Dante, divided into three canticles, Inferno, Purgatorio and Paradiso. Each Canticle consists of 33 cantos, except the first which has 34, thus entire poem is made up of 100 cantos. Which among the following option is not correct about William Congreve? Options are, option A, he was member of Kit Kat Club. Option B, the way of the world in his wife is his five-act play written in 1700. He was specialized in sexual comedy of manners. He was the disciple of Dryden. Here, option D is the correct answer. He was the disciple of Dryden. Let's see the highlighters. William Congreve, 1670 to 1729, he lived. He was an English playwright and poet born in Bardsley, West Yorkshire, England. He met at Kilkenny College with Jonathan Swift, who remained as his lifetime friend. He became disciple of Dryden, Congreve never married. By the age of 30, he had written four comedies including The Way of the World, Love for Love and One Tragedy, The Morning Bride. He was specialized in sexual comedy of manners. He was member of Kit Kat Club. Let's move to the next question, question number 12. Which book of John, sorry, George Meredith was published in 1879? Your options are The Egotist, Emilia in England, The Adventures of Harry Richmond, and option D, Victoria. Here, answer is The Egotist. Let's see the highlighters. The Egotist is a tragic comical novel by George Meredith published in 1879. Question number 13. Arranged, sorry, arrange William Congreve's work in chronological order. Option A. The Old Bachelor, Love for Love, The Way of the World, The Double Dealer. The Morning Bride, Love for Love, The Way of the World, The, world, the Old Black Bachelor is in option B. Option C. The Old Bachelor. The Double Dealer, Love for Love, The Way of the World is in option C. Option D, The Morning Bride, The Old Bachelor, Love for Love, The Way of the World. Here option C is the correct answer. Let's see when these books were published. Famous works of Congreve, The Old Bachelor was published in 1693. Second book, that is Double Dealer, was published in 1694. Love for Love was published in 1695. The Morning Bride was published in 1697. 
The Way of the World was published in 1700. Other works were Epistle to Lord Halifax, Incognita, Love and Duty Reconciled, and this was his only novel. Question number 14. Oronoko is a play written in the year option A 1677, option B 1688, option C 1788 and option D 1668. Here option B is the correct answer that is 1688. Let's see the highlighters. Oronoko was published in 1688. Oronoko or the Royal Slave is a short prose fiction concerning love of Oronoko an enslaved African in Suriname. Ben herself, the position of narrator, Imoinda is sold as a slave as she has lost her virginity. Next question is question number 15. Which among the following work is not written by Afra Ben? Here your options are option A, the forced marriage, option B, round heads, option C, love for love and option D, the Dutch lover. Option C, that is love for love, is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Her notable works are Oronoko in the year 1688, it was published. The Force Marriage was published in 1670. The Amorous Prince was published in 1671. The Dutch Lover was published in 1673. Abdelazer was published in 1676. The Rover, part 1 and 2. The Banished Cavaliers, protagonist was Helena. The Roundheads, The Emperor of the Moon, Love Letters Between a Nobleman and His Sister. Question number 16. The word Surrealism was coined by Guillaume Apollonaire. Option B, Sigmund Freud. Option C, Andrew Britton. Option D, Fire Reverdy. Here, option A, that is, Guillaume Apollinaire is the answer. Let's see the highlighters. Surrealism was a cultural movement which developed in Europe in the aftermath of World War I, largely influenced by data. The movement is based, best known for its virtual visual artworks and writings and juxtaposition imagery. The term surrealism is said to have been coined by Guillaume Apollinaire as early as 1917. It was coined in March 1917. Next question, question number 17. The Rape of the Lock is an example of a ballad, burlesque, tragedy, comedy or elegy here option b is the correct answer that is burlesque let's see the highlighters the rape of the lock was written between 1712 to 1714 it is a mock heroic narrative poem first published anonymously in linton's miscellaneous poem in 1712 in cantos it is also an example of high burlesque it consists total 794 lines it was expanded and reissued in an edition, addition written by Mr. Pope in 1714 in five cantos accompanied by six engravings. The final form of poem was available in 1717 with the addition of Clarissa's speech on good humor. Let's move towards question number 18. Which of the following statement is correct about look back in anger option a this book is an autobiographical piece based on osborne's unhappy marriage option b the last well-known example of kitchen sink drama option c it was opened at royal court theater in 1956 option d the play ends with jimmy and allison embracing once again playing their games of beer and squirrel here, option B, that is the last well-known example of kitchen sink drama is correct option. Let's move to the next, sorry, let, let's move to the highlighter. Look Back in Anger was published in 1956. 
This work is an autobiographical piece based on Osborne's unhappy marriage to actress Pamela Lane. It was opened at Royal Court Theatre in 1956, the first well-known example of kitchen sink drama written in 17 days in a deck chair. Osborne wrote a sequel in 1989 to, be, to the play entitled Deja Vu, which was first produced in 1992 in the play Jimmy Porter, is known as J.B. in the Middle Age Living with daughter Alicia. It concerns a love triangle involving an intellectual and educated but disaffected young man of working class origin, Jim Porter, his upper middle class impassive wife, Alison, and her friend, Helena Charles. The play ends with Jimmy and Alison embracing once again playing their games of beer and squirrel. If we talk about settings, here we find time, the present. The action throughout takes place in Porter's one room flat in Midlands. Act 1 opens with Jimmy and Cliff reading Sunday newspapers. In scene 1 we find it is early evening, Sunday. Uh, in the month of April. Act 2, Scene 1. Two weeks later, then Scene 2 we find the following evening. Act 3, Scene 1, several months later and Scene 2, a few months later. This is the setting of the play. Question number 19. Which among the following is not, does not belong to angry Young Man Movement, Kingsley, Amis, Osborne, Harold, Pinter, and Clibber. Here, option D, that is Clibber, is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Angry Young Man Movement. This movement consisted of a group of British novelists and playwrights in the 1950s, a group of intellectuals who had grown up after World War II. They expressed their dissatisfaction with the prevailing socio-political order of their country and belonged to lower middle class or working class background. They revolted against the hypocrisy of the upper class and rebelled against unfair treatment meted out to them. This phrase was originally coined by the Royal Court Theatre's press officer, George Fioron to promote John Osborne's play, Look Back in Anger, in the year 1956. It is thought to be derived from autobiographical autobiography of Leslie Paul, founder of Woodcraft Folk, whose Angry Young Man's published in 1951. Initial members of this group were John Osborne and Kingsley Ames, but later on these Writers also joined Harold Pinter, Philip Larkin, John Wayne, Alan Silito, John Brain, and John Arden. Question number 20. Which among the following is not the pen name used by Swift? Lemuel Gulliver, M.B. Drapier, Isaac Bickerstaff, and Sir Sawyer. Here option D, Sir Sawyer is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. These three are the nicknames which Jonathan Swift used in his writings. M.B. Drapier, Lamuel Gulliver and Isaac Bickerstaff. Next, is, next question is question number 21. The Battle of the Books the Battle of the Books is a short satire by Swift published as a part of which of the following work? Option A, Tale of a Tub. Option B, Drapier's Letter. Option C, The Modest Proposal. Option D, Gulliver's Travels. Here, option A, that is a Tale of the Tub, is correct answer. Let's see the explanation. The Battle of the Books. The Battle of the Books 
which was published in 1704, is a short satire by Swift, Jonathan Swift, published as a part of the tale of a tub in 1704. It is an uh, allegorical, more heroic story set in Royal Library of St. James in London. He wrote this work to defend his patron William Temple's essay upon the ancient and modern learning. Because of the satire, the Battle of the Books uh, has become a term for the quarrel of the ancients and the moderns. Swift has used the phrase sweetness and light. Later, Arnold picked up this phrase and the title of the first section of his 1969 book, Culture and Anarchy, an essay in political and social criticism where sweetness and light stands for beauty and intelligence. Let's move ahead. Question number 22. To whom Lord Byron described as nature's sternest painter yet the best here your options are collins thompson crab and goldsmith your option c crab is the correct answer let's see the highlighters jonathan crab was born in the year 1754 and he died in the year 1832 was an english poet surgeon and clergyman in 1770 Crab began his career as a doctor's apprentice, later becoming a surgeon. Crab's poetry was predominantly in the form of heroic couplets. He is best known for his early use of realistic narrative form and description. Edmund Burke became a close friend of Crab and helped him in building literary career. Lord Byron described him as nature's sternest painter yet the best let's move ahead question number 23 the term difference has been coined by sigmund freud jacques lacan jacques derrida and guattari here option c jacques derrida is the correct answer let's see the highlighters difference is a french term coined by jacques derrida it is a central concept in Derrida's deconstruction, a critical outlook concerned with the relationship between text and meaning. The term difference between difference, the term difference means difference and deferral of meaning. Question number 24. Heteroglossia is a term coined by Roman Jacobson, Gayatri, Spivak, Mikhail Bakhtim, and Homi Bhabha. Here option C, that is Mikhail Bakhtim, is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. The term heteroglossia translates the Russian Raznoresi, a term coined by Bakhtim, in essay discourse in the novel. Last question is question number 12. Chattification is a term coined by Salman Rusti, R.K. Narayan, Tigore, or Kamala Das. Your option A, Salman Rusti, is the correct answer. Friends, we find Hinglish, that is Indian and English, mixture of Indian and English culture here, and uh, this he was very apt in using it. Let's see the highlighters. Chutneyfication coined by Salman Rushdie in his novel Midnight's Children which was published in 1981. The adoption of Indian element into the English language or culture meaning the process of becoming chutney. So here we find Indian feel in English writing. That is why this Two language are the, the, the two words from two languages are mixed and made one and Salman Rushdie was expert in doing that. By this we have completed day six MCQs. Wait for day seven. We will meet soon. Thank you, friends. All the best for your examination.